Hey folks, so today we are going to work on the Act 1 Story Structure Worksheet to give you an example of how to plot outline your story, no matter how short, how long, whether it's a one episode of a show or a pilot. But let's get into it. So today we're going to use the movie Shrek from 2001. It's a good example of a like very straightforward film. And let's dive into that. So when we're looking at the sheet, we'll go to Act 1. Introduce the hero in their everyday life, highlighting their unfulfilled, stagnant existence and hinting at deeper flaws and desires that will drive the story. So once you're seeing your own worksheet, just in point form notes, you don't have to get into crazy detail, put in the scenes and sequence. And this is just like a good outline to go with and doesn't have to be perfect so let's dive into that so in the beginning of the film we actually see the sequence that gives the whole theme and kind of like gives us a hint of what Shrek, Shrek's character could be in this world so the storybook beautiful you know classical and then right off the bat right after that so let's put that first scene in that establishes that world all right here let's see the formatting is good yeah perfect so that's the first thing we see keep going so usually the intro or number one is a bunch of scenes as I said this before in other videos the inciting incident is one single scene roughly uh, when you go in between that is new situations that's a bunch of scenes then turning point number two is when they make the final decision and leaping into act two so they're solidifying what they're going to do, making a plan. So let's go back, let's fill this out, pretty straightforward. The next thing is we see Shrek coming out of the washroom, kind of like not, you know, very princely like, kind of like a glimpse of what he can change into, even though he's, but he's also funny, he's charming in his own weird way, he's gross, so trying, if you know the story without spoiling it, but either way. Fiona is a princess, and then her secret is not revealed, but it's ironic that, you know, he's an ogre, she ends up being an ogre, but yeah. So putting in these scenes, let's try the next one. So let's just fill this out. You don't always have to get to every detail. You can open up each scene, but just having them in these point forms is pretty good. So then we get the whole, I guess, the external want of Shrek, which is like, based upon a ghost something that happened to him in the past and in this scene the local villagers come they want to get rid of shrek and you know he doesn't want to kill people but he just wants to scare people away you know i think deep down he doesn't he's not a bad guy he just wants to be left alone and he wants the isolation and that's his external want and when we get to the inciting incident as well as turning point number two he's doing the action that he does he meets so before that he meets donkey the real inciting incident is donkey escapes from these guards and meets shrek and bumps into him and shrek indirectly slash directly protects him but then tells him beat it you know going to his want his external wants of being alone but then donkey's like no no i don't want to be alone i want to be you know so he follows him without his approval to his swamp uh, home. You know, he's kind of attached to him. And he just tells, like, tells him, get out of here and everything like that. What happens is that leads into the new situation. The new situation is essentially the hero enters a new situation meeting new people or facing new challenges, which gives them a glimpse of their potential and begins to affect their inner world though they still cling to their old self so essentially that's when so he meets donkey here and then he's still clinging on to his old world of like i don't care yes i i help but okay, I'm, that's not my thing and he moves on so that's usually what these scenes establish it's establishing that shrek just wants to be left alone and donkey's not getting the hint but donkey's also this new thing in his life and it will lead to this crazy journey and hence why it is the inciting incident and the second scenes after that 
are basically here in new situations. So Donkey sticks around and then what happens is these, you know, other fairy tale creatures that are being captured or sold to Lord Farquaad, they will come to Shrek's um, swamp because it's a haven because of <laughs> because of Donkey. Because he, you know, told everybody. And this is where Shrek formulates his goal. He's not doing it to save these creatures. He's doing it to get a swamp back. But the creatures don't really generally care as long as he's doing something to, you know, help them out. But his goal, based upon the lie and based upon the ghost, is <laughs> that's what he's doing. His goal of wanting to be alone and living a solitary life but he sets out on this journey so here is where that he puts that goal or that want into action and then you leap into the second act of the film so let's speed this up and fill out the rest and you can get a good glimpse of that so looking at it right now you can see that the way it's filled out you can pause and look at it so establishing all these scenes for a reason everything has a reason establishing the theme the characters want um, secondary characters like Donkey, the situation, the world, everything you can get in is in the in this number one introduction. And the inciting incident, Donkey escapes, runs into Shrek, where he meets Shrek and he gets saved by Shrek. After that, he becomes attached to Shrek. And as you can see here, Shrek is like, no, I don't care. Get away. Don't follow me. After that, most likely, obviously, what happens is Donkey tells everybody this is a safe haven, which gets Shrek mad. And you can see they explain their plight. And he can't, you know, push everybody out because he can't scare them. They're not really afraid of him. So then he's like, oh, my God, OK, I'm going to do this thing that gets me my swamp back. I don't care what happens to you guys, but as long as it gets you guys out of here, I will do it, which fits into his initial goal of wanting to be alone his isolation his desire for isolation so throughout the film that's his goal but as we know in the first scene that you see it establishes the storybook world and that's his path but turned on its head all right so i will try to fill out the other worksheets in terms of act one and act three all right till next time peace